In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Xbox Cloud Gaming on your Mac. First, you are gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need your Mac and of course, an internet connection. You do need an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription. And optionally, you can have a controller too, like an Xbox controller, a PlayStation controller, or any third party controller. That being said, let's get into this. All we need to do is head over to xbox.com forward slash play, and then sign on in with your account that has the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription by hitting the sign in option in the top right hand corner. Next, you wanna pair your controller to your Mac. If you don't know how to do this, I'll link a video down below, but you can see here we're already in Xbox Cloud Gaming and we can simply select on any of these games to play. What I'd recommend though, is if you're using Google Chrome, select on the ellipses in the top right, right hand corner, those three dots, go all the way down to where it says cast, save and share and then choose to install this page as an app, and I'll show you why. It's gonna ask you to install it as the Xbox app. We're gonna select on install now. You notice that it appears in your dock, so you can have really quick and easy access to Xbox Cloud Gaming without always having to go over to the website. It opens up in its own window, and you can maximize this so you can start gaming with full screen. Then grab your controller, pick your game, and start playing, and it is that easy. I do want to take a second now to tell you about Fitness Hero. I asked Fitness Hero if they wanted to sponsor a few videos because basically all of mine and Ashley's gym equipment we've bought from these guys. They are a fantastic Aussie brand that ships Australia wide and it's made it so easy to wake up basically four or five days of the week, head down to the garage and work out with some really high quality equipment that was also really affordable to buy. So check out Fitness Hero in the description down below. That being said, back to the video. Paris. Last time I made a video Ray, like the this, um, they and did say why didn't you trust the gameplay. Arsenal so this is me using the gameplay. Players, it's actually Robson. pretty smooth. Uh, but I do want to let you know I'm billing. using a 5G a hotspot uh, and I've got a 5G router at home. So of course it is going to be a little bit Thanks, laggy Derek. because well, 5G isn't the best connection for gaming, especially fast paced gaming. But for me with some casual light gaming, I really don't mind. But if you have a better internet connection, you will of course have an even better experience with cloud gaming. Now let's get out of this game. So I do wanna show you a few things or tell you a few things about Xbox Cloud Gaming. The first is that if you press the Xbox button, it isn't gonna launch the home. It's going to launch your gaming section on your Mac or it's gonna take you to all your apps. What you wanna do instead is use your mouse and go to the top left hand corner, select on the little hamburger menu here. Then you get the option of Xbox and you can go ahead and quit that game. Let's go quit. I feel bad for the person I just left. Uh, and then this will take you back into um, the home screen of Xbox Cloud Gaming. Another caveat with Xbox Cloud Gaming is at the moment or at the time of making this video, you can only use one controller, so you can't do two player. Uh, I don't know if this is a feature coming out later or not, but I do know right now only one controller at a time or one player at a time works. Uh, but that's okay if you're like me, just a bit of a casual game of playing um, every now and then. In here, I do want to point out that you can search in the top right hand corner and you can look for any sort of game that you're after. And if it's on here, go ahead and play. You could be looking for something like Fortnite. So you can simply type in Fortnite, go ahead and start playing. You might be looking for Forza. If you can type, that's even better. If I select on the cloud gaming beta sign, this will take me back to the home and there's a few things we can do here as well. Of course, we can jump back in to some of the games that we were playing. You will see some of the hero games, the most uh, popular ones, announcements and things like that. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you've got the option of playing with friends. So this will show you what games that your friends uh, do have and games that they have been playing. Um, because it knows that I'm on a computer, it gives me the option or it shows me some games that are great with uh, play with a keyboard or a mouse. What you'll see in the bottom right hand corner of most games is either a uh, controller symbol or a little keyboard and mouse and it tells you what they're optimized for. Uh, you can see the most popular games on cloud. So if you're looking for games that have a lot of people in there, you will see them over here. Um, and of course, you can stream your own games. If you buy games, you can choose to stream some of them on here. This is a new feature. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, and then you can see games that have been recently added to Game Pass. 
and of course games that are leaving soon as well not every single game is on xbox cloud gaming and another way of sorting is of course using the genres down the bottom or you can simply scroll through hit the see all and you can see all the games that are available on xbox cloud gaming but there you go that is how you can use xbox cloud gaming on your mac i do like the tip of actually installing it as an app so it's really easy to access it runs in its own little window and of course you can maximize it of course if you like this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you're in a supercharged raise your computer hit that subscribe button as well thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye